What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part 9 of our Halo 2 Lasso Run. This is Quarantine Zone, one of the quicker, easier missions. So start this up. As we spawn in, we're going to turn to the left and there's going to be an elite here. We're going to smack and kill this guy via melee to get our shields up. It takes 5 swipes with your sword to take his shield down if you have a sword. And then you could switch to whatever other weapon you have to finish him off with 4 melees. But if you don't have a sword, just smack him as many times as it takes to take his shield down and then finish him off. And you can see that once we took out the guy on the left, we took out the guy on the right. We hopped into the ghost and we have full double overshield at this point. We're going to go to this door, speed through here and avoid all the sentinels and that enforcer. We're just going to follow this path. We're going to boost in the ghost through most of this mission. We're going to go to the left over here and just follow this path. We're going to go off the jump over here and you want to hold the jump button to kind of raise your nose up at first. And we want to land to the left of this door up here and let the warthog drive by and we're just going to slip in here and just keep boosting. You'll notice after I go off a big ramp that I actually am boosting for a short period of time but then I let up. I pull back and stop boosting and that allows you to land with much more control so you'll see it here. As soon as that wall goes away on the right you want to kind of turn towards the right and boost in this direction. You can see I stopped boosting as I was falling down and that allowed me to level out. Head in this direction once we get to the bottom right of this bank we kind of want to boost up diagonally to the left of the side of the tree here which if you did that smoothly will bring us to the other side of the gap and that despawns a lot of the enemies that would be over here especially the rocket flood and then we're going to go past this wraith over here into this kind of cavernous area you can see there's a bunch of support beams kind of holding up this cave like area there will be no enemies over here we need to worry about so just keep going in the ghost this is a nice uh, casual section right here but we're going to turn to the right so we can get our left fin on our ghost into the doorway here and then we're going to straighten out and turn to the left so we can get our right fin in and then we're going to straighten out once more and get into this tunnel and we'll be able to move on through the rest of the mission here. So we're going to go up this ramp. If you need to do this, uh, if you took a lot of damage, you could decide to stop here and melee this flood. It takes like a minute per flood body to destroy to get shield back. And there's a couple more bodies up here if you need it, but I'm going to go into the corner and boost down from this corner. You don't want to go more towards the right because that's a lot more rocky and uneven. You'll probably end up flipping if you boost from more towards the right and you'll get killed by the flood and sentinels possibly. But boost into this corner so we could leave this area. Sometimes there's more combat forms here than other times. This time it was pretty clear. Then we're going to weave our way through what looks like a bunch of charred drops pods and then we're going to follow this path be aware that in this section there is an enforcer above you and he could grab you and rip you apart and kill you instantly so watch out for that you want to avoid him but we're going to get out of our ghost in a second and cloak ourselves before getting back in and boosting past a bunch of combat forms and we want to do that as we get to about here you don't want to get too high on this hill because then they'll see you as you cloak yourself but you want to boost past them and the reason they don't see you is because your character model is invisible even though your ghost is totally visible they don't see you for some reason but I happened to drive straight into a flood combat form that time around and then he did notice me so try to avoid them uh, you can see he boarded my ghost and started slapping me around but we're just going to go over here we're going to ditch our ghost at this point we're going to go on foot for a short time we're going to cloak ourselves as soon as we see uh, flood combat forms sometimes if you're fast enough they don't spawn in here but they spawn in this time so we cloaked ourselves grab this ghost and if you didn't cloak yourself yet you want to cloak yourself as you get into the ghost so you can go past this wraith more easily we got by anyway this time around even without the cloak so you could definitely do that it's just a little easier with the cloak obviously this is another point where you may want to cloak yourself and get back in the ghost real quick but if not let the chain gun warthog go to your left and then cut into the left so the goshawk goes by you on the right and that path is pretty consistent at this point we're just going to hang out here for a little bit let the enemies fight each other uh we're mainly staying here so we could a get the checkpoint to trigger which has happened at this point and b we want the ghosts that spawn uh where we're going to go and we want them to spawn and drive over here instead of us meeting them over there because they're a lot easier to avoid and drive past once they're over here and you can see the ghosts now they're starting to meander over here so we're just going to wait for them to get a little closer and we're just going to speed right past them and i like to go to the left it's a little safer because you have that wraith on the right side so we don't want to deal with that so since the ghosts have already spawned and they're behind us now we could actually get a little closer than we would normally we're going to move up to this point and we're going to cloak ourselves around these boxes and then we're going to boost into the final section here and we're going to be able to make it a little further than we would with camo then if those ghosts were still here we would have had to cloak a little earlier and then not have as much going into this part and on top of that if the ghosts were still in the area you run the risk of them actually shooting you right when you activate your camo and then your camo fails and you probably end up dying because everyone sees you and there's a ton of enemies in that area but we made it to the gondola we skipped the cutscene i'm going to kill one of my friendlies because i have no shield at this point i don't need any shield or health or anything but it's just going to be an annoying five or six minute gondola ride if I have to listen to my audible shield alarm go off. So I'm just going to melee one of my guys to death so I could have a nice, peaceful, quiet ride on the gondola. And if you've never seen this trick before, it's pretty awesome. All you do is go to the back of the gondola here. We're going to jump on this railing here. And then we're going to jump up onto the kind of cross bracing up here. Whatever this is, support structure of some kind. Just jump up here onto this slanted uh, object up here. Just walk up to the top. And then eventually you're going to walk through the geometry, walk through the shape, whatever it is. And you're going to fall down onto the top of the gondola. And now you can actually see through the floor 
of the gondola down at all of your friendlies down there. You'll be able to see all of the enemies down there as well. But you're basically inside the top of the gondola. You can't actually see into it, but you could see, uh, if you're inside of it, you could see to the other side. But uh, you're going to see when I turn around, there's actually like a big piece of geometry here. And it looks like you can't walk through it, but just walk right through it. And uh, nobody could see you in here. You're nice and safe, but you could see them. You could spy on them. You could creep super hard from up here, empower your inner ceiling cat. But really all you have to do at this point is just stand up here. You could actually just leave the room entirely and come back in five or six minutes and you'll be at the end. So I'm going to skip ahead here. And as we approach the end of the gondola ride here, we're going to jump down. And you can take a look around if you want. You uh, see all the enemies down there. They're just kind of standing around. They don't see you at all. They're just minding their own business. They've killed all your friendlies. But we're going to jump down onto this ramp right here. You want to make sure you land on this instead of uh, going a little further and over that because you might end up killing yourself due to fall damage. Or not fall damage, but the fall timer might activate. So you want to just jump down onto that ramp to make sure that that doesn't happen. And all the infection forms in this area don't actually go at you, but if you run into them, they do damage you. So avoid them, especially if you have no shield because one can kill you. You can see I sped this part up. We triggered the cutscene. But that's it for Quarantine Zone, a quick and easy one leading into... The notorious Gravemind Lasso mission. Arguably the toughest mission in all of Halo, but we got some nifty new strats, so you'll definitely want to check that one out. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the Scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.